So we will call the Woodbury Select Board meeting to order at 6.02 on Monday, July 22nd, um, 2024. Any adjustments to the Select Board agenda? Raise your hand. Uh, DA <laughs> Okay. I'm here for the, the community library. Okay. So we are going to um, add a community library conversation. Why don't we do that sooner than later? Um, so before, can we do it before town treasurer's report? Just so folks, if they don't want to stay for the whole meeting, they okay. can scoot out. Any other adjustments to the agenda? Oh, Kathleen. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, so I brought my whole, all my Harrods coat. Are you guys all Harrods yeah. coat people? Okay. Yeah, so, we can open so during public comment, we'll have a chance to make a comment, and then we do have a, a flood conversation later in the meeting. Mm -hmm. So when you, if you'd like to make a comment during that time period, that's a good, good moment. All right, thanks, thanks for sending the pictures. Oh. Um, so our next agenda item is to approve the minutes from July 8th. <laughs> Um, which all three of us had a chance to read them. Mm -hmm. Any ch before there's a motion, any changes? I'll, uh, I'll move that we approve them. Okay, Diana makes a motion that we approve the minutes as written. Any discussion? Mm -mm. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Passes unanimously. The, meetings are, uh, the meeting minutes are approved. Just sign them. Sign them, right. Thank you. Welcome. And public comment. So, um, happy to listen to folks' public comment. Um, easy answers, like we're, we're happy to, 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 to yes and no's and, you know, things like that. It's, pro it's a time, though, for you to be heard, for us to listen. And we may not always have the answer right away, so it might have to be a, something that we come back to you to you with. But if you would, for for the record, stand up, state your name, and um, make your comment. I guess I'm Kathleen Demico. I'm Harrods Cove. I own five thirty-five Harrods Cove, and we own the land across the street, which is five twenty-six Harrods Cove, which goes almost all the way up to Wilbur Road. Um, this land. Of us there, so because of the flooding last year, I know Alfie was <laughs> came by and the culprits all let loose on Willow Road, and they just made waterfalls and took out all of our easements and our land and into all of the people here's property. It takes go right to the shoreline, complete mud piles, you know, in everybody's yards, and it's all coming from Willow Road damage. So that was this, last year. Last year. Last year. Okay. Thing, yeah. So the same thing happened again this year. But the culverts didn't I'm not blow sure out. what happened. If it's called, I mean, there's three areas. I had sent Lizzie some pictures on mm -hmm. the local road that look like um, water slides mm -hmm. <laughs> that come from local road. You can see wherever the damage is on local road, it creates, they may not culverts. I don't know if somebody you know, can speak to it after me if they want, if they saw them. Literally, I had pictures of them. But it just, the land now that we own on 526, it has three, almost looks like a water slide without the slide. Mm -hmm. Because it just pours down there and takes out, we have an eastman all the way down through our land and then through our land on, across the street, which goes onto everybody else's land. <coughs> and so anything that's coming from the road, the slush and the rocks mm -hmm. and the mud is coming into Harris Cove, which I know we're not a town road. <laughs> we pay a lot of taxes. For mm -hmm. the First of all, I think we're all really sorry for the fact that that happened. Um, did it, can you tell me when when the photographs that you sent Liz when because I took a walk past there yesterday, yeah. and it wasn't immediately obvious to me, and maybe it's been repaired or at least Wilbur Road has been repaired since the the, the yeah. last rainstorm. We have um, Rennie Creek lives on Herrick's Cove, and he gets up the very next morning after this. Well, last year, this is what we were up, you know, three or four days doing it. Because it actually took out Herrick's Cove Road. This year, we just mucked it all up. But he comes and he 
puts down the gravel that we have set aside for our road. He fixes all the easements, you know, like all the way on 526, and from that comes from Local Road mostly. And then, um, you know, between Emily Massetti's house and mine. Um, and then it goes into the shoreline where four or five people have easements and access to the shoreline. And then it goes into the lake. So um, that all got fixed by Rennie with this track. Mm -hmm. You know, putting it all kind of back together. I mean, you can see all the dirt, you know, mm -hmm. stuff on the lawn and, and that. Although he's, he's, he's taking up a lot of it. And it goes into her house. You can see that. So this is someone you hire to take no, care of the road? No, oh, he, he lives there. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's one of our, mm -hmm. our neighbors. And so, but you don't know necessarily know when, if, or when Wilbur Road has been repaired. Because I'm assuming this came, it washed so Wilbur the day, Road out. The day uh -huh. the storm started, we went to bed and it was fine. So mm -hmm. that it had to be July 10th, our famous, you know, flood day. Mm -hmm. um, and when we get up in the morning is when the, the mud and the, the Wilbur Road must have collapsed so much that it all came down. Okay. You know, and, it was, and it rained all night long, too. So those pictures. Are from like the 11th. I didn't see those. I thought they went to all of us, but um, sorry, I will send them. That's all right, guys. Right I don't have my phone. Yeah, because <laughs> so I sent like four, four, or maybe six emails too. So I had like Wilbur Road pictures, and then I had 526 Harris Cove and 531 Harris Cove, and then the shoreline where all oh. the other neighbors there. So I sent like four different mm -hmm. sets of pictures to kind of designate. The and you sent them to Lizzie? Me. I thought oh. they went to all of us, but I guess they oh, didn't. Okay, so, yeah, um, I think that's because you were the only one. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. And it's hard without the context of actually seeing the property. Like I see the pictures, I can see the damage, but it's hard yeah. to kind of like put it in context with mm -hmm. what actually is going on there. Yeah. Um, but you were out there, Diana, right? And I drove it by on. there. Was it a few days ago? And I, I drove on Wilbur Road, and I hadn't been on that section of the road for I don't know how long. But I couldn't see. I mean, there were no culverts washed out like there was last year. Last year was impassable for a while, I'm pretty right. sure. Yeah. But, you know, you could see if, I mean, there's the road and then it goes down like that, so it's hard to tell. They probably fixed yeah. it because I actually put some cones out the day of the flood. Oh. I don't recall that it was a culvert, but there was mm -hmm. like a pretty good washout uh -huh. that to me seemed like a little bit I mean, dangerous like, for cars. Oh, into the um, row. Oh, yeah, there. but I'm not sure, like, I'm not familiar enough with Harris Cove to know if that was the same spot that would have happened. Yeah, it probably was just like three or four, like three or four sections on, on mm -hmm. that side of the road to mm -hmm. you know, be driving. Sense of direction. Mm -hmm. So it would be on the left when you saw all the washout mm -hmm. of the road. That's mm -hmm. our top, you know, even mm -hmm. longer canyons or Marco, maybe land. Uh -huh. See all, all along either directly across the three, three of us. You know. And how many properties do you guys represent that were damaged? Um, four here. Okay. okay. So four properties. Yeah. I think the culverts are the right way because it goes right down there. You get a lot of rain, it goes down the our, our side, you know, neighbor's side. You Good. remember Gene Plant? You must know Gene Plant. Yes. He passed away. It goes right down that driveway. Yes. Yeah, so that's our easement. That's our property. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the culverts. It started many years ago, and I'm sure you guys were probably familiar mm -hmm. with when they installed those culverts and put the granite um, underneath. That's when all of it started, and I know Louise, uh, you heard from probably Louise and Air at the time, and um, Manuel Carcoba. Mm -hmm. I think they came to a couple of meetings about that culvert. Mm -hmm. And, you know, on and off, it's been not too bad, but obviously the weather is changing and it's creating mm -hmm. more of a mess. So mm -hmm. it's kind of been an ongoing thing. It's just getting mm -hmm. worse with the weather. And when was that installation done that you're talking about? Oh, gosh, I don't know, probably... I don't think any of us were... 10 or 12 here. years Oh, yeah, I wasn't on the board, but okay. Were you? You remember that? I remember yeah, the name on Cola and skipped okay. those two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. so culverts, draining. Yeah, that's tough. It's too bad Alfie was up here because yeah. he he'll be here. Right. Yeah, because yeah, he came over last year. So, mm -hmm. you know, at least it was remarkable. I mean, worse. It was worse, yeah. Oh, so mm -hmm. it affected the same to the shoreline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's missing stuff. 
So, obviously, this river last year. Are all of you able to stay until 635? Yeah. So I think that it, our road commissioner will be here and we'll be able to ask questions of the road commissioner if, if you know, his assessment of the situation. Um, thank you. Anybody else like would like to speak during public comment? Brandy. Uh, Brandy Smith. Um, I know this was brought up when we had a different board member. Um, what action is being taken on Swenson as far as them um, hauling grout, crushed grout out of the quarries? That um, according to their Act 250, they are not supposed to haul anything and um, the town gets a percentage of it, um, which kind of fell through um, the cracks. So how is the select board now going to handle all that material coming out of there? Until they're still doing that. Yes. So can I need a little background, um, having only been on the yeah. board since... Uh, so um, when they got the equipment to crush up there, um, the pile just sat, and now it's being hauled out of there to different, different um, sheds. And Brandy, just to clarify, you're not saying that they're not supposed to haul it. You're saying that we're supposed to get money for every Any load. material that's hauled out of there the town of Woodbury gets a percentage of it. Okay. Well, what it says is that the, it is usable. the agreement yeah. is that uh, we get a certain number of cents per cubic foot of usable granite. The crushed stuff and the rock was not considered in that formula, so we would have to talk with them and ask them to pay us more money. Or they need to do a new Act 250 to state that they're selling yeah. more out of there. Yeah. And then the other thing is they also brought it to our attention about moving the gate off our Class 4 road, yeah. and that still has not been done. Yeah. That, yeah. Good. The, uh, Chris used to insist that he was wrong, but they don't have a permit to crush. If permits, their Act 250 permit definitely, definitively says no crushing is approved. So I don't know if they're crushing now or if they were just crushing for a while when they were producing rock for us and other towns. Or when was the last time that the board has met with the new owners of Swenson? It has not been since I've been on. Yeah. So is that something that we could ask for? Uh, a meeting at the, at the next select board meeting? I would love to like have maybe just a not a private conversation but a conversation not during a meeting and just kind of get a better understanding um, and then maybe we could have a conversation with Swenson mm -hmm. give him a call yeah, yeah I, I just I don't feel equipped to talk to them yeah. right now because I'll just be reiterating what you said and then if they ask any questions I right. won't know the answer um, but maybe we could talk about it further and just kind of get a better sense of what we're looking for from them. So it's a tentative, maybe. Uh, we'll put that on the agenda mm. for a future board meeting. Brady, can I touch base with you in the interim at some point and just kind of sure, get a little bit more? Yeah, I can fill you in on the background. Is in the mm -hmm. and, yeah. We have a... Yeah. All right. Um, we're going to change the uh, agenda or we um, made an adjustment to the agenda to talk about the community library so I'm thanks for coming yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am Deanna Avery and I find myself recently elected to be the chair of the community library mm -hmm. so I'm here to ask for you to appoint Sarah Van Hoff to be a trustee she is willing to do this for us temporarily until we get more people to step forward. We, we need some more bodies on our board. Mm -hmm. So you want to tell them about there have been some resignations? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Unexpected. Uh, unexpected yeah. and unfortunately, we've lost um, a couple of our regular trustees, including Stephen Murphy and Chris Codius, who was our treasurer. And then we had a guy who was with us for about a month, 
and he thought that it was a little overwhelming. No, oh, And uh, I hadn't even stepped into a leadership position, so but <laughs> I have now, and we're going to mm -hmm. do our best. But we really could use more people on the board, and mm -hmm. Sarah Van Hoff has generously offered to fill in until we get more people. I'd like to make a motion that we appoint Sarah Van Hoff as a library trustee for as long as she can stand it. <laughs> she can quit any time, you know, so we don't have to put a date on it. <laughs> Obviously, people know that because they're quitting right and left. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Sarah Van Hoff is uh, appointed to the. Uh, All right. We just write one of the letters, Robin. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you. thank you. Hey, thank you for doing all that yeah. suddenly. <laughs> Okay. Our next item is the town treasurer's report. Mm -hmm. We have balance sheets, financial statements, and due to the problem. Um, over the last two weeks, I took in $10,015.35 in cash receipts. Um, um, $102.73 was in highway um, return, which is a miscellaneous revenue that was returned. Uh, delinquent taxes, $9,812.61, and $100 in prepaid taxes. There was an electronic transfer from the state of Vermont for class two and three roads that went to the highway for $19,640.31. Payroll over the last two weeks, $13,500. $53.81. Accounts payable, $26,789.30. I transferred $3,000 to cover costs. And you got that line of credit set up? Um, as soon as I have minutes, and now that there's time. Oh, okay. Right. Right. And there, there still will be um, electronic, and well, I'm actually hoping that I will talk to we'll see after Skip speaks about FEMA. Yeah, can, are you able to drag your feet on it a little bit? Oh, yes, I am, and I will. <laughs> what was that? I asked if she could drag her feet on it, because we got an email that said it was Oh, okay, well, like she, she can still get the line of credit. We don't have to spend it. We don't have to <laughs> sure. spend it right away. Yeah, but yeah, but, Lindsay, I will. For the process. I don't, I don't have to, I won't. Because there's closing I'm costs associated it's with five, getting it's it. 5.84% interest. Yeah. I know FEMA's supposed to be picking that up, but I would rather not borrow. Yeah. yeah. And there must be a chunk of money also just for the closing, right? Like lawyer's fees, whatever else. Oh, no, 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 is there? no, This is just a line of credit, so it's just in and out mm -hmm. by, when oh, I use it. It's yeah. not okay. a... Right. Okay. A but even form. even if you even if you applied for it and got it, you, we only used we uh, only we only pay interest on, on what we paid. used. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we need to as a safety net. Yes. Uh, yeah. And that that offer is always out there. Union Bank is always wanting to give us money. So <laughs> right. Right. That's not a, a worry. Um, other goodies. Um, so I had called and got a quote from the eliminator because we have an ant issue that's eating the outside and inside um, spots of the town office. Mm. Um, we now have a family of snakes that came to our attention that's underneath their deck. And I'm the mouse lady. <laughs> <laughs> um, Going beyond that, they gave me an estimate of $1,660 per month. Oh. For a year. Um, per month. I thought that was a it little It takes expensive. long that long to get rid of Please. ants? So they would go up in the, they would do traps, they would spray um, for the ants, get rid of the spiders. She did request that we pressure wash the face of the, to get rid of the spiders that are webbed and it looks like a horrible mess any anyway when you walk when you walk into the building. Yeah. But this would take care of them going up in the attic, setting traps, getting the mice that are already in there. Um, yeah. Is it worth getting so the mice are, are a threat to the building itself or would you like to come take care of them? I do. I take care of mice all the time. I Is might well Ron takes them out of the trap and then I take them out and throw them in the road. <laughs> Is it worth it getting another <laughs> estimate? I well, would. I hope they're dead when you throw them in a row. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, really, really excessive. Really <laughs> it was, and I wasn't yeah. going to tell you about it, but yet, I don't, and other people can't take on doing more stuff. 
Great. Yeah. Um, so, do you mind getting another estimate? Absolutely. I'm okay. Not. And I'm Great. curious, like, how official does the person who does that stuff? Sorry. I'm sorry. How official does it have to be? Like, I feel like that's all stuff that anybody could do. And I wonder, even if we like put an advertisement on front porch forum or something, if there's someone out there looking to make some extra money who doesn't and mind. Again, it would be have to be an employee they would have gotcha. to it all yeah. okay gotcha so why monthly please thank you robin mm -hmm. i mean it's not that i don't believe you i just don't know it's understand just why they're saying that it's not going to be gone in one month if they do mm -hmm. a spray that they're not going to be gone in one month mm -hmm. um, and the piles of wood we're seeing them eat. I mean, and it's wet downstairs. The mm -hmm. carpenter ants are going to be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Thanks for offering you another estimate. Mm -hmm. Well, they are using chemicals that should, you know, you need to be trained and authorized to are use. That? I mean, there's a lot of those that you can just buy at the hardware store. They yeah. all I don't say know. cause cancer. What? And then you hire somebody to that. It's, yeah. it's a liability. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm surprised. I mean, you know, when we had them do the bats at the town hall, I thought they were very reasonably priced, but okay, this is a lot. Hmm. Is this the same company that did the bats? Yeah. Yes. Yep. And I know customers of theirs that just have it once a year, summertime, just go around and spray, and that's yeah. 150 bucks. So when I saw that, I was mm. like blown mm. away. And that's well. to do everything, snakes, mice, it's rodents, spiders. Yeah, all that is included in there. It's yeah. okay if I call and ask them about? Sure. With this, okay. Anything else, Brandy? Um, so again, and this is hearsay, that um, the person that um, was interested in taking my position is no longer interested. Mm -hmm. So therefore, at this point, um, I am suggesting, so I have time to train, that the select board put an ad out. Okay. Would right. you would you draw it up for us? What should it say? You want me to draw up what you want for an employee to do? <laughs> yeah, well, you're the, one, you're the one who knows what the employee yeah. does. We, we would approve it, but yeah. y if you yeah, don't mind. CT has a print, a handout of what Matrepo does. Oh, really? Does. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's not, I, don't want to. I mean, I can add on mice and I can add on standing on chairs. <laughs> <laughs> you can like all of a sudden. <laughs> Break. All right. <laughs> Break. Break. So bad. <laughs> I have seen similar ads from other towns in area newspapers. I can always keep an eye out for them. Robin, would you be, and, and the board would have to agree, would you be terribly upset if we uh, moved the road report up and we swapped just so that these folks, no, again, if they don't want to okay. stay mm -hmm. um, after yeah, we do the road report, we can. Yeah. Great. Um, Alfie, how you doing? <laughs> Hanging in there. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> um, so I think just to give you some background, folks are here from Herrick's Cove, uh, concerned about Wilbur Road, but we can talk about that in a second if you have other um, things that are more pressing or other things that you want to start with. Um, either way, it's fine with me. Okay. I do have some questions for the board, but you can jump right into that if you want. Okay. Yeah, that's probably good. So I think the, the gist of the, um, the conversation has been that Herrick's Road, I think, last year, can you guys jump in, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, he was point. here last year. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, water, Herrick's, uh, Wilbur Road washed out and down on Herrick's Cove. And then similar things happened this year. Um, I'll say that I walked by, I took a walk through there yesterday and had a difficult time locating, like, the road didn't seem to be washed out, but perhaps it's been repaired before I got there yesterday. It, it wasn't washed near as bad as last year. Yeah. Uh, we did pick, we did repair it because it was a quick fix. Yeah. Um, but I'm not saying that there's not damage down there. Yeah. But I'm, I am saying that Wilbur Road did not wash out. There may be other reasons why sediment's being carried down there. Uh, but I don't believe it came from Wilbur Road. Hmm. 
All right. I mean, it, clearly, you know, there, it needs to be looked at a little bit closer, and um, I don't know what we can do about it mm -hmm. uh, other than some stone line ditching, perhaps, and on the uphill some side, catch basins. Uh, well, you do catch basins at the usually on the outlet of the culverts. Yep. And to kind of slow the water and catch it, and the stone lines are on the upper. Um, there is one culvert uh, that's right near the town line that is generally the culprit. Uh, it usually gets overtaken, as all of our culverts are right now. Mm -hmm. Every, every mm -hmm. culvert is not big enough now. Mm -hmm. uh, with these events that we're receiving. Um, so I think that might be a really good start to change that one culvert out uh, as far as helping down below. Um, but ultimately, ultimately the water is still going to go down below. It's going to go downhill. Downhill. Good. I, I drove by there too and I was quite, I mean, one side is really, really steep and the other side is really, really steep. I don't know where you could put a ditch. Maybe uh, some rock out at the outfall or something like that. But boy, I don't know. Right. Not really room for a ditch. And it, yeah, I mean it's it's a tough situation, as mm -hmm. as many are in any town. Mm -hmm. This with mm -hmm. these events that we're getting, this is unprecedented. This mm -hmm. is not normal stuff. So, what does that catch basin look like on the downhill side of that culvert? What? And then, uh, usually we'll just dig like a like a pool yep. that kind of is lower than the, the ground that's going to wash away. Mm -hmm. And we'll stone line it so it kind of catches sediment. Slows that so down. So this pool is lower than the ground that's going to run away. Mm -hmm. And it catches the sediment and actually slows the water down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've done that a lot around town, but maybe that's something we can do there to as well as change that culvert. Mm -hmm. So you think the culvert needs to be totally changed out? Well, given the last, what happened last year, what happened this year, that's the culvert that is causing the problem, I and, believe. When you replaced last year, was the same size or the... We didn't, didn't replace anything last year. Oh, okay, no, okay. We you just, just had to put them back. Okay. Yeah, we didn't replace anything okay. last year. I'm not, um, casting any blame or, or making any suggestions, but just simply a question, is it possible that the logging that happened down through there could have contributed to the sediment mm. that uh, washed down? Because there is a lot less vegetation than there used the to be through there. The state was involved there. Okay. The what? The state came and got involved in that because of the wetlands. Oh, the clearing that's on the corner there? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Yeah, and I don't know for what reason sense. or anything like that, but I do, there, there was a fair amount of clearing there, and mm -hmm. so it's possible. Because that's all pretty fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was done last winter. Yeah. Last what? Last week? Last winter. Last winter, thank you. Yeah. That's quite a bit away from... This is not, it's not, it's not relevant? Okay. Sure, good. Uh, directly where this water's coming down, that's farther down the road. Not where we have the problem. Mm -hmm. okay. it's, it's all the woods all the way up through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see a pretty obvious trail of exactly where the water is coming from? Yes. Well, there's, there's, multi, there's at least two, if not three, ravines now from up there uh -huh. that are coming all filtering down right onto my property and then running down everybody else's house. So, Alvin, you weren't here, but we bought the land across the street, which now is even really more affected by that. But you, I have a lot of good pictures of I'm sorry, road. I can't hear you. We have a lot of good pictures of Wilbur Road, which I sent to Lizzie, but I could send to you or something. It shows from the top of Wilbur Road where all this, you know, like, break off was at the mm -hmm. road. You saw, you said it was, and you can actually see, they almost look like water slides, mm -hmm. you know, three right. sections of just, and that's where it works out. Plus, it wasn't as, the, you know, Niagara Falls, like last year, right. but last year just was. as, just I think a lot, of what happened, a lot of what happened was last year was a major flood. Yes. And it started this whole process. Mm -hmm. And now, so every time it rains, yeah. it has a ravine to go. And right. it's following that mm -hmm. ravine that was made last year. Yeah. And it's going right down into your property. Yeah. And it was, I mean, mm -hmm. our lawn is demolished again. 
it was just a lot of silt like we did last year. We tried to plant. He didn't and see it, but the mud was just high on the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, mm -hmm. uh, it just goes around our whole mm -hmm. foundation. Luckily, not inside, but it's still right. just next to it. So whatever you think you could do to make that better, is that something that will be eligible for FEMA if they do a disaster declaration? Yeah. Who said yes? I said yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, if the disaster declaration does happen, then sure. Yeah. You know, it would be like the same drill as we're going through now. And that would probably be a mitigation project. Yeah. If so save those pictures. <laughs> stop installing a larger color. Yeah. I'll doing some I kind of a catch basin. That, so. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'll need those pictures for sure. Yeah. Sure, I'll send them, them your way. Yeah. 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 Have you guys all reported the damage to the 211 number? Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. And sent pictures to Danielle. What? Danielle. Level air. Don't you want pictures as well? On the oh, yeah. If you sent them to Danielle, I'll get them. Yeah. Rob, Rob has got her hand up. Oh, Rob, I'm sorry. Now, for that settlement pond that you're talking about, how often does that have to be cleaned out with all of the settlement stuff that's going to land in there? Yeah, it depends on how much it rains <laughs> and how much is carried to it. You know, I mean, some of them we have to do once a year mm -hmm. and even more. And how do you go about doing that? Just with the excavator. Just oh, out. okay. Yeah. And then you haul that stuff away from where it landed. Yes, and then you know you, you generally you'd have to dig it completely out, dig the stone that you put in also, and that gets carried away, and you put fresh stone in. Oh, it's a process. Mm -hmm. it's, is it simple stone? Or is it it's stone? what they call eight inch minus. It's ditching stone, so it's it's eight or eight or so mm -hmm. inches down, and it kind of holds from washing in, and creates also the filter for the sediment. Yes, we did that on the. He said that goes between Emily and my house. That goes, you know, and then goes on everybody's shoreline there. Yeah. yeah. The Rocky Brothers did that. Ditch almost. Yeah. Stone stayed, not the not was on top of it. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, this water is powerful. There's no getting around it. I mean, there, it's just it's just amazing what this water is doing. Mm -hmm. Not just to your roads or your property where it's not protected mm -hmm. but roads that are protected are, are getting washed out as well a lot of the work that we rebuilt last summer it's, it's gone again mm -hmm. i mean it's very frustrating mm -hmm. you know i i had i had about a week of, of starting on summer projects mm -hmm. before this night this last last flood hit. Yeah. so we're, we're we're right out straight we're really doing all we can um to protect and prevent, mm -hmm. but when you're spending, you spend your whole summer repairing mm -hmm. to make the roads passable and safe, it doesn't allow as much time for preventative. Mm -hmm. So that would probably qualify as a mitigation project to put the stone line basin in the, yeah. Hmm? yeah. If you put a larger color mm -hmm. in there. That's something we can brainstorm about? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and again, if we go, if we go through, which, which is another whole problem, if we go through FEMA, FEMA requires an H and H study. Oh no, just so, for Culver. As we all know, H and H studies are six months to a year mm -hmm. before we get the results. Mm -hmm. um, so that takes time unless we, unless we just do it, and then get the studies done later. Mm -hmm. and take a chance. I know Michael had something and then skip. Yeah, I mean, just knowing that road, the Wilbur Road, and, and the drop down to um, Salem Pond, um, I, I think no matter what the road crew does, you're still going to have problems, especially now that those channels are there. Every time there's a heavy water flow, it's going to take stuff with it. Um, it's going to end up on your property again. That's just... I don't think there's much you can do unless you get um, the Army Corps of Engineers or something in there. Um, I have a camp on Nichols Pond in the mouth of the brook, totally filled in with erosion. There's, there's no roads above me. Um, and with this flood that we just had, a lot of that stuff that was there is washed further out into the pond. Um, and it's just a, 
and the whole side of the brook, you know, 15 or 20 feet on either side is just scoured of any, any leaves or any plant growth. It's just rock and, um, I mean, wow. it's just mm. a, that's such a steep drop. Mm. That water really gets a lot of steam going and it's just ripping mm. out the, the hillside. Mm. Um, that's just my opinion on what I've seen around here. Skip, did you have a FEMA? Um, yeah, no, in all cases, some FEMA insight. There's a mitigation project uh, apply when you're replacing a culvert with a larger culvert. You no, know, if you were doing something to a stream that runs you around, then you would need an H and H study. That's true. These are. This is not a. It's yeah. not a year-round stream. So right? with that, that's yeah. H and H is hydraulic and hydrology study. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. yeah. And so. You may not need a, a mitigation hmm. plan written, you know, a formal plan written. Okay. Just as long as you let them know that you replaced it with a larger culvert that's mitigation and just the work effort and material required to, and the cost of the culvert would be part of that mitigation project. Mm -hmm. No engineering would be involved. Mm -hmm. So as long as we stay, uh, stay below three foot diameter, we don't need any change. The state requires anything over 30, 36 inches needs an H and H. What's there now? I think it's an 18. So we could go to a 24. So you could go to a 24 yeah. and still be safe. Mm -hmm. I think Which you I think 24 would probably carry that water. I mean, you're still going to get the water, but you're not going to have our road wash out and down onto your lawns. Maybe. You know what I mean? With a bigger yeah. collar. That's what the culvert will do, is keep the water where it's supposed to be. So you're talking about replacing the culvert that points directly down to us? They all do, don't they? Right. I mean, so, how could they not? Well, it's been there It's been there for years, I'm assuming. Mm. Yeah. Without, without the culvert, though, the road will wash down. So with the right. culvert, it's just water that, that comes underneath mm. the road. But without the culverts, right. the entire road will... will but there's will. no way to... Point the water to go anywhere else except down. Just so you're going to put down. a bigger culvert. Right. That's what it does. Slow down. You know, right. and and if it slows it down, it will not wash like it's washing. Right. And by replacing the culvert to a bigger one, we could put in that that pool at the bottom and catch it. Because it, you know, I'm trying to give you an example, but if you put water in a in a sink. It, it goes into a pool of water. It's not. It's not as erosion, right? If it goes into a pool, it's going to stay there and then kind of overflow mm -hmm. at a slower pace. I'm just trying to picture how you would do that. That must be a 30, 40 foot drop there, and with all the trees, I don't even know right. how you get in there. <laughs> right. Well, that's true. Yeah. And and when you've got a slope like that, it takes more space. So then now you're talking out of the possibly out of the right way. Which is another another issue. Yeah. So it's, it, it, I said in the beginning, this is not an easy yeah. an easy fix mm -hmm. an easy situation. Do you know who owns the land up to the road? You well, do. Oh, do you know. I own. No, I actually don't own to the road. I'm just short of it. I do. Oh. So I'll be happy to <laughs> fill in some stuff whenever you want. You right. I'm Ken Goldsland. I bought the property in 2016. You have three main channels of water that have gone down it through there since I bought it. There's a huge where the water is washed out. Two of the, I think where Alfie is talking about, is actually the Woodbury Palace town line, right? Mm -hmm. That water there does not go down in effect. Eric Scoldway, they're talking about that actually goes down into my so-called wetlands. There's two, there's two culverts. The one where if you were up there, you'll see the water that actually comes down like a little mini waterfall right now that's running. And I'll be more than happy to take out here any of you if you want. But that actually goes down and that keeps washing out my land that goes into the wetland that actually then goes <coughs> goes across uh, Herrick's Cove past their cans. Your main problem is there's no ditching on the other side of the road to go and channel the water. 
And when you have a massive ra uh, rainstorm, the water just comes right across the road. And it's going to take, the, the uh, obviously, the road with it as much as it can. Last year, it totally destroyed it. Um, and this year here, I met Alfie, right, I think, the, the day after we went up there, right? Um, but the three channels you're talking about, the, it's the furthest one north is the one that's affecting these homeowners. The rest of it affects me. Now, we'll talk about the logging. The logging was all channeled. The water's channeled. It's all done properly. The state signed off on that. The backup, the reason why uh, the state was involved in the first place was the logger that I had go in there didn't listen to me. And I said, you go in there on the Callis Woodbury turnaround and you make a hook out. He went straight out. He didn't know that was a wetland on the other side. Mm. And that's where the state got involved. We fixed all that. That's all done. Everything is back to normal. Like um, I believe Alfie said, the amount of rainfall that's happening now and these storms and stuff is what's doing it. It's taking all the sediment. Mm -hmm. There should be money. I think there's money um, that's available or going to be available for, for lake cleanup too um, mm -hmm. that really needs to be looked at. Mm -hmm. um, but the ditching, he has... He, he has no room really to, to, to do any ditching on, uh, on the other side, right? I mean, we looked at that. I mean, you can do it's some ditching. That's fine. That's fine. You know, the, the thing is, is, is to go and ditch the water so it doesn't go directly on Herrick's Cove and ruin more of my land is, is uh, kind of hard to do. And at some point, I'm, just for the record, I like to split um, the land up there into three house lots. So, um, my, um, if this continues, my value is um, deteriorating. And I'm just going to tell you, I've sat in your seats for 10 years. I've been through this and all this stuff in Northfield. So, I don't pity your chops one bit. It's, uh, and I'll work, I'm willing to work with anybody, whatever, whatever it takes. But, um, it's not an easy solution. Mm -hmm. um, Seems like to try to ditch the up, uphill side of that road would just destabilize that bank even more. It's it's uphill pretty, because it's it, it, it's not a steep there. So um, where the turn where the where the where the callus would very line. That's not as steep there. That's actually where I'd like to put mm -hmm. a driveway, mm -hmm. which I'm going to go for a permit. Are you Diane? Yes. Pretty easy. Oh, nice to find me. <laughs> so, um, so um, I'd like at some point to put a driveway there so I can access more of my land. Um, where the turnaround is, you mean? Or? Below that. Oh. Mm. Below that. No, it's too wet there. Below that, like on the camel side or the Woodbury side? Um, I own. I own right from the lake all the way up through the white border, mm. Woodbury Capitals. All my land is in Woodbury. You get all my tax money. <laughs> well, no, you're good to get shit. <laughs> so it makes sense maybe to put this on the next select board agenda, or next road commissioner's report, so that, Alfie, you get a chance to yeah, go out and look again, and yeah. you're the expert. Doesn't make yeah, any sense for this bus to try to solve it. Comes off the hill yeah. above Wilbur Road, so our road is affected by the same water. So uh, trying to figure out ways to control that water, I think, is our next step. Did I hear last year that there was maybe a beaver pond up there? Well, last year something let go up uh, there. There was a lot of water that came down uh, all at once. Uh, 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 and like I said last year, uh, our road washed out a great deal mm. more to the point mm. where it was not passable. Mm. And there was also a wet slide on the road. Mm. There is an irrigation pond up there. An irrigation, irrigation pond? pond? Yeah, but it's okay. that's like uh, close to the top of Foster Hill. Yeah. Oh. I could just add one thing. You also have a huge boulder from the um, uh, soil slide. Right there on the corner, that if that rock lets loose, it's going to wipe out 
if it got through the trees, it will yeah. probably do some damage to some camps or some people. Mm. Well, there that, was a slide there last last year. Yeah, big time. Yeah. And and to help out, I own four four hundred and seven feet from from Callis down through into Woodbury. So if that. I'm willing to help the town, whatever they need to do. That rock can certainly go over on my side. It doesn't bother me at all. Mm. Um, that would be the easiest place for it to go. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it's got any size to it. I'm really worried. <clears throat> That's more of a safety issue that honestly really <coughs> needs to be done now. Mm. And he and I can get together. Mm. I'm sorry with you people to, uh, to do that, but I'm worried about people's safety down below. Yeah, preferably to do it on purpose. Rather than to wait for it to yeah. fall down. Yeah. We've had enough surprises for, <laughs> for a while. Mm. Mm. Thanks for being willing to help. Yeah. No problem. I just had a question. Um, does it make any kind of sense to plant some kind of fast growing vegetation on that sea bank to try to like get some roots in the soil? Or is that just not enough because it's such a problem? It's woods. It's mm -hmm. woods, right? So there's mm -hmm. there's ground cover already, unless there's in some of those ravines that have been created. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get something planted in there, but it's steep. It's steep. So steep. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a, yeah. It's gonna be a it's challenge. Steep. I think I think the trick is to slow the water down. About those other two slides, those other two ravines, are those at the culvert out outfalls also, or? Which part are you talking about? The two that well, are further the from the town down, line. Down, down from where he's talking. You know, your pictures that you just sent me. It's There's three culverts. Like, it looks like one slide. Isn't there three up there? No, no. So, yeah. yeah. There's the, the culvert that's hitting you the most is the for this one north of Woodbury. The other two are going down and just, I probably got a 30 foot hole in my land mm. from where it's washed out and gone down through mm. um, that way there. But whenever he gets time, and, I, and the reason why I haven't been saying a whole hell of a lot is mm. because you, everybody's swamped with trying to get stuff passable for, right. for people to do. so. But whenever, whenever you're ready, I'll be more than happy to uh, do it. Although the rock, we, if, if we can't do something with that, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll have a look at it and uh, see what we can do. I mean, it may have to be a long cable to reach up and yank it because, I mean, you're not going to get a machine up on that hill. I don't know how big your excavator is, but... Yeah, and I don't know how far up the hill it is either, so you'll see. I'd have to look at it. It was, it was a shock to me the other day. It's like, where did that come from? And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I'd like to think it's been there, uh, but regardless, now that I've seen it, it scares the hell out of me. Mm. Not that I really like the neighbors, but... <laughs> <laughs> Go you don't want a bunch of lawsuits then. <laughs> well, it's not on my name. Let's not I'm joking about uh, the neighbors. Well, again, really sorry for all this happening. Mm. I mean, my goal is not to have the do anything immediately. But we need to, we need to look at it because I, you know, eventually I pay a lot of tax dollars here, and that's private road. So we don't get anything for our money. Mm -hmm. So, and if it's a road up above, it's what will land up above us, somebody's going to look at it, at least for us, because of, you know, say we are taxpayers and we do pay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and unfortunately, you know, I don't care. I know it's not going to be tomorrow, but he says he's busy. Right? And we understand, I understand that, if anybody does. Uh, you know, but you know, in, in, in the future, we're going to look at what's causing all this stuff. It's even like anything with the state. We're going to stop worrying about what's coming. We need to figure out what to do about it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's yeah. a tax increase coming. You'll be fine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm worried about that. So, thank you for you're welcome to stay and hang out. But I think in the looking at time, we're going to have Alfie move on to the next parts of the road commissioner's report. But Feel free to stay, and and uh, we'll put it on the agenda for next next select board, so that Alfie's got a couple weeks to kind of brainstorm. Thank you. Three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks. Sorry. Alfie just let me know anytime you want. Okay. Yeah. We got time to do it. Bye.
Okay. Yeah, no, I will definitely come to you. That will give you an idea. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. What's your road oh, man. plan for the rest of the summer? <laughs> Whoa. I think my summer is spoken for, actually. Yeah. How did County Road hold up? Uh, County Road has got some issues. Yeah. Um, we fixed most of it to a safe, passable state. Mm. Um, no, you're not talking County Road Extension, you're talking County Road. Oh, no, I haven't meant County Road Extension, but... Oh, it. County Road Extension, mm -hmm. I attempted to go there and fix that today, mm -hmm. but I need an excavator, one of the mm -hmm. culverts. Mm -hmm. um, it's a stone culvert, and it's not oh. taking, taking the water. So I gotta, I gotta dig it up and see if I can just fix, at least fix the, the upstream side of it mm -hmm. and get it taking the water. Uh, but with that, it washed out just below the car. Um, not terrible, but it's unpassable. It's still closed, right? It's yeah. still closed, yeah. So, and you have still waiting for the state on the other color? Uh, no, I actually have. We've, we've received the H&H, oh. &H, um, hmm. which is another part of my... List. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you get to it. <laughs> so, while we're on that topic, I guess we might as well just jump into it. We did get the hydraulic study and they're calling for a four and a half foot culvert buried one foot so a, f a flow of inch of a three and a half is that bigger than you expected uh, way bigger way bigger expected. yes that's yeah. a 15 now buried one foot what does that mean they they make you go with a bigger size culvert yeah and then they put a like this one they put a foot below the stream bed level Oh, so that it doesn't okay. erode yeah. and scour underneath it. Mm. Um, so that's their recommendation there, which which I was going to talk uh, about uh, to do with another one of my questions, which is some of these culverts, a lot of our culverts need to be upsized. <laughs> and given that formula that the state, not that they've given me a formula, but it was a 15 there jumping it to a three foot wow and that's three times yeah. the size yeah that's a lot of digging do we well i'm not worried about the digging <laughs> i'm worried about the cost of the culverts oh you yeah. know when you triple the size of a culvert it, it turns into money real quick huh. this so, one presumably though will be covered by fema this one is a fema project yes yeah. But you're saying but we have in several, general, yeah. We have several that are not that may not be. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They are mitigation projects because you're upsizing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we don't know if we're going to get a uh, decoration for this this storm. Mm -hmm. So these these three or four culverts that have been damaged a second time because mm -hmm. of the flooding, mm -hmm. it's obvious to me that they need to be bigger. So and these are. So one on County Road Extension, and what are the other ones? I I don't have a list in front of me, but there's two on the County Road yeah. that have washed out. One of them is half full of debris, stone and stuff that's washed down. Um, so there's two there. There's one on there's two on East Hill, which one we have a grant for. Uh huh. Um, I think we have a grant for it, but if not, I th did that one get canceled? I don't no, remember. no, none of them have been canceled. Okay. Um, so right we do have a grant for for that one. Um, so some of them will be covered under that, but I'm just, as I'm out there working, I see a major washout below a culvert. Yeah. I say right there, there's your culvert. There's your culprit that it's, mm -hmm. it's not taking the water. So it's washing down the road. East Hill washed out a quarter of a mile cool. because it, it's mm. because of this this these two culverts that are not big enough. Mm. Um, there's one again on East Hill that's by Gwyn's Gwyn Marshall's house. Mm -hmm. It's that one has it's got water it's got water running on both sides of it. Mm. And so we have a hollow spot underneath the side of this culvert which is mm. scary. Mm -hmm. With a heavy truck at the right time, mm. it's going to go in. Mm. Or a school bus. Right, right. So 
if I'm going to dig it up to replace it, I want to replace it with a culvert that is the correct size, mm -hmm. or that's at least a, somewhat of an upgrade from what we've had. Because again, this is washed out from that culvert. It's washed out down the hill from it, both last year and again this year. And these are mm -hmm. all roughly 18 inch culverts? The one that's there now is, I believe, a it's either 18 or two foot. That's yeah, a good size. Yeah, yeah. So you'd be looking to go to like a three foot? Three or even a four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if this flood is declared a disaster, those upgrades would be covered under FEMA? Is that correct? Mm. Um, that would be fair to assume, but, but FEMA only covers, unless it's a mitigation, FEMA only covers what is existing. Um, okay. So if mm. it's an 18 inch culvert now, they're going to pay for an 18 inch culvert. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Unless it's turned into a mitigation product, mm. which is mm. another whole realm of. Yeah. Well, we're used to that. <laughs> <laughs> so we, right. can write, we can write mitigation projects in our state. Yeah. So don't be shy if, if yeah, no, no. the disaster should be declared. Right. Any that's, that's That's our problem. That's our, that's our catch here, is that we don't know if we're going to get. Mm -hmm. A declaration, but yeah, these call this work needs to be mm -hmm. done. Can I can I ask what what's roughly the cost difference between an eighteen inch and a thirty six inch culvert? Um, hmm. mm. a Just lot. ballpark. A lot there. <laughs> I mean, a, we bought a we bought a four foot culvert plastic, and it was four grand for twenty foot length. Oh, whoa! Wow. And most roads you gotta have mm. forty foot mm. to get across. Mm -hmm. Any any estimates on a disaster declaration? Do you hear, hear anything okay. through your no? no? No. I'll find out more on Wednesday. We have a, a weekly conference call with oh. our friends at FEMA. Yeah. <laughs> See what they do. Yeah. I yeah. rode around with the, the state guy on Thursday. Oh. He wanted to see a bunch of sites that mm -hmm. we had. And he was pretty confident that we were going to reach our mm -hmm. our number in Washington County. Yeah, with Plainfield and Barry, you would think that one. Right, right. So, help. You know, mm -hmm. but we can't count on that. Yeah. Mm. So, in your estimation, if we replace these with a three foot or a four foot culvert in places, it's expensive output or it, it's an expensive outlay of money. But in the long term, is it? It's cost savings. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, yeah. if we keep getting this rain. It's, co it's not. It's costing us money to fix all this stuff, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And we're putting, you know, fifteen loads of gravel in to fill out, fill in the washout that mm -hmm. this culvert has caused. Right. That's there's real your, money. There's a cost mm -hmm. your culvert. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So. Mm -hmm. And I, I also that's why I'm bringing it to you guys is that there's there's probably a round figure I would say ten culverts that probably we need to do this with. So we're looking like forty grand. If not more. If not more. If not more. Right. Yeah. And these are the ones mm -hmm. that are that are obvious problem to me as yeah. I'm fixing mm -hmm. the washouts. Yeah. Are they do they all need to be done immediately or could you do only the ones where the roads are impassable? You know, just do them slowly in hopes that in the meantime a disaster right. gets declared? Or that we find out if it will be or not. Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can. I'm gonna have to. That's gonna be our only hope is to, to, to right. do that. But we've got more storms coming, so it's it's gonna be. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is, right. This is gonna be the new norm. Yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate, but. Cool. So our our budget for culverts for FY25 is fifteen thousand dollars. You got two. You get two culverts there. That's about two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And you need you've got ten. I mean that's yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean I can do I can like you said Lizzie, I can do a couple of the real major ones, the ones that are chronic washouts. Mm -hmm. I can do those. And, mm -hmm. and that will buy us a little bit more time to find out whether we get a declaration or not. I mean I would think that we should be hearing about declarations yeah. soon. What, what do I know? Mm. As far as that goes, I, I mean, it, it's anybody's guess. Yeah. But I don't. I like I said, I don't want to put these culverts, replace these culverts with the same size, mm -hmm. or even mm -hmm. just reset them mm -mm. if it's just going to blow out again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
because that, that that's not productive. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know if. I mean, I can stay within the budget, and then the rest has to kind of wait until until we know more. But. Mm. You think you should decide what needs to be done first and make yourself a make a priority list that you probably got it all in your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well I know there's two on the county road. That, mm -hmm. that there's a squash pipe. I think it's a mm -hmm. thirty inch squash pipe that mm -hmm. is half full. Mm -hmm. Every time in the amount of rain almost it's running down the side of the road, which the the landowner called me and said, "Hey, what are you? What can you do about this? It mm. happens every time it rains. It's washing onto my property, mm. and um, so I would like to be able to do something about that, so that I don't mm. have angry taxpayers mm. and the rooms full of people." <laughs> yeah, know, anybody at the uh, end of a culvert, I guess, is not going to be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to a certain degree, water's got to go somewhere. It just mm -hmm. has to go. It's somewhere. hard not to say that. You know, and. Downhill. When we, when I see a culvert that is clearly not not doing its job because it's too small, I feel like we need to do that. So when you see a culvert that's half full, what do you do? You don't have a, like a hose to clean it out with or any fire department that will come. There's water going through it, but yeah. there's like boulders like this. Oh, like, yeah. You know, it just you know, can't, you can't wash just out. tip it up and. A lot of times, so you can clean out the lower end, and the water will wash it out. Uh -huh. it clean, but these yeah. are big boulders from, oh. the, from the heavy rains, yeah. and they just are lodged in there. Mm -hmm. huh. Does it make sense to buy like grates for them so that can't happen, or would that just create problems with it getting clogged and not functioning? <laughs> yeah, grates would definitely clog. I mean, any stick, any twig, mm -hmm. any any kind of brush or leaves, even leaves. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, clog okay. it up and then we're back to square one. Yeah. No, the culvert up by Gwen's, if that goes to a bigger culvert, would that also help with mud season? Um, if we lower it, if we lower the, the water level above the road, then yes. Mm. That would lower, because that would, that would soften, that would drain that water yeah. source out of the road. Mm. I mean, the road acts like a wick. Right. If you've got water on both sides of it, it's just a wick. So frost gets into it, freezes it, then you have a major uh, mm. mud season. Right. If the water's not there, it's not going to freeze. So yes, if we can, if we can put a bigger culvert and lower it a touch to drain that that whole big area that's above there, uh, that would definitely help during mud season as well. Is that one of these grants that might or might not get finished? That one is not a grant. No. Okay. That one is not a grant. But that's the one that's got water running on both sides of the mm -hmm. culvert. So there's a cavity mm -hmm. on both sides of the mm -hmm. culvert, and it's just a matter of time mm -hmm. before it, you know, yeah. locked up. I was soil. up there the other day, and Glenn called it was you know, to unplug it this yeah. year, and um, the bottom of that culvert is really rotten. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I had my mm -hmm. thing to pull stuff out with, and I was catching in the middle. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, needs to be it's due to be replaced mm -hmm. anyways. Mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't notice that, so thank you, Mike. Mm -hmm. So I think we should get down to the real question, which is Alfie's asking for direction from us on how to proceed when it comes to this. And any suggestions? Uh, yeah, so I guess my suggestion would be do what you have to do to make the culverts safe and effective, but I would do it as slowly as possible. Only do the ones that are either impossible or like obviously dangerous. <laughs> And then just kind of drag our feet and hope that. So are you saying that because of money or? Yes. Yeah, I would money. say do it, do everything you can as fast as you can. So, <laughs> we don't have to vote on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess um, what you need to do, if it makes sense, it would be good to have, I think like a list of the culverts that you think, like an actual like number of, we have actually have eight, we have 12, we have whatever, and then a, like a cost. A rating. Or like, what are we talking about in terms of 
of, of dollars to dollar sign. to put to put these three foot four foot culverts in and yeah. and using your expertise so if you think that should be a four foot culvert then if you could put a number to that for us and then if we can't afford to do it this year then we need to budget for it for next year but we can't do that without that information and then in the meantime i'm not speaking this is just my opinion no, you guys can mm -hmm. cut me off at any point um you can we replace things as you see fit like so that we're not buying 15 loads of gravel next you know the next right. storm right. that's just throwing good money after bad so mm -hmm. but i guess i agree that if this becomes an emergency declaration if we can hold off until that money comes in on the other hand if thing. we get three hundred thousand dollars in our checking account next month or next week <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. it. <laughs> but that's all meant, that kind of must go to other stuff that we borrowed from, right? Like, that's not... I don't think you were... Were you talking about the line of credit from the bank? No, no, no. No, no. Yeah. no I was talking about the money that FEMA owes us. Yeah. Yeah. FEMA money in the meantime. Yeah, okay. But that, when we get the FEMA money... I won't get a line of credit. It's, right, 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 right. No, I wasn't asking okay. that. But that's not, like, money that we just have to use, right? Like we use, didn't we use other funds? Some of it's that been now reimbursed we'll need to those funds, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of so like already spoken for. That's why I did the fire okay. So okay. if I replenish the other funds, uh -huh. um, there's still a carryover that I, that I still have a cushion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is that, do you feel, do, do you all feel like we've given Alfie enough direction? And do does you Alfie feel, feel like? like <laughs> 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 well, uh, it sounds like you want to do the, the desperate ones first and hope that we get either the FEMA money coming or a declaration. However, the declaration, we're still taking money out of our pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We will never get, we won't right. get back for another year. But at least we know, we know it would get reimbursed at some point, which yeah. would... And maybe I'm misunderstanding because if you, am, am I misunderstanding that if Alfie fixes some of these now before that it wouldn't qualify for a, a mitigation project later? It would. It would. Okay, so we could, okay. Right, especially the ones that we have evidence that it's washed out. Right. Okay. Like by Gwen's, we have pictures of that where it washed out below it. So... There, we, it, it's obvious that that culvert needs to be mitigated. And that was because of the flood two weeks ago, right? Yes. Okay, so so that Which would... Just, we're waiting on an answer. Yeah, and they always say, and it's the stuff that the state sends us, they always say, don't wait. Get your work done. You don't have to wait until you get a Well, approval. that's the yeah. other pressure point that is on me. Mm -hmm. I've got until October, and now I have to start putting plows together. Mm -hmm. So... Right, right. Not a lot of time. I, right. I just don't want to track my feet on mm -hmm. some of these projects that are going to be. Brandy, did you have something you wanted to add? I know you're not going to want to hear this. Mm -hmm. Can we hire out to get summer caught up? The grants, those three or four grants in front of you, ditching, side road ditching now that, yeah, there's, yeah. You go up Cabot Road, all the ditches, all the culverts are plugged. There's mm -hmm. so much ditching material that it is not even funny. Storm. We have another storm, it's going to be another washout. Um, and with the next three, four days of rain, yeah, it's going to be interesting. You but, mean like hiring some of those part time guys back? <laughs> if they will? No, Either hired. and or, or hiring somebody with their own equipment to do ditching, oh. or mowing, or we've got mm. a lot of projects there. and. Mm. and it's not going to get done. And I'm not putting this on Alfie. I mean, the weather is the weather, and the, I'm a, this rain is going to be a normal for us with how muggy it is, mm. and it's just, yeah. Well. And the guys don't, I mean, this is their, also their summer. Mm. As much as we want the roads done, I mean, wintertime, we beg them not to take time off. Um, so... And last year, there was a cushion of 10000 for outside services. Um, and if we're getting FEMA back from projects of last year, then have, take that off Alfie's plate. Have, it, have somebody else do it. 
That was my thought. You can call me whatever name you want. It's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm fine with that. I would, the, only, the only caution I have is, is it's going to cost you a lot more money. Yeah. I mean, a contractor is going to charge more money than what, what it's going to cost for us to do it. But even if we're renting another machine. I mean, but the time which is fine, urban. but it, you, you either pay now or you pay later. I mean, it's one of those right. things. Right. Either we pay yeah. for overtime, and yeah, there's only so much that. Yeah. Skip, mm -hmm. I know you don't have a crystal ball, but do you think we're going to get this money? From which disaster? <laughs> <laughs> Any I'm money sorry. at all, ever. That's part of our report. Okay. Yeah, the we'll uh, faucet's being turned on. Okay. Now, what about these these grant projects that are already supposedly paid for? Well, no, no, no. Well, no. Right? Here we go. Reimbursement. So grant. once the yeah. grant is complete, yes. what? Once the grant is complete, okay. yeah, so we haven't submitted. Those are just still needing to be done. Right. So the grant needs to be applied for. You mean? No, or no, the no, work no. has to be grant. Uh, I can talk to the grant. So um, we have been awarded grants mm -hmm. um, for um, four projects actually. Um, three of which. Uh, at this point, the deadline to have them completed in the reporting is uh, September 30th of this mm -hmm. year. Um, and those, it's a reimbursement grant, so we mm -hmm. keep records and then submit a report, and then um, mm -hmm. there's a town match. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, once the work is done and the materials, the time, equipment, etc., is all Send in the report, mm -hmm. then the town gets reimbursed. That was like with the uh, hurry up and wait. Except the state's <laughs> a little bit easier to deal with and a little yeah. bit quicker. Um, yeah. So um, Is there I, a, did, I did ask about an extent. One, one of these grants, um, it's on the county road. The road crew had pretty much done all the work um, except then the flood came. So mm -hmm. that project hasn't been finished. Um, the other two um, were awarded for um, this fiscal year, or fiscal year 23, and the, um, no, 24, I'm sorry, which is now behind us already. Um, we have until September to submit a report, um, have the work done. I asked about an extension with a, with a VTrans person, and they said as of this moment, um, there hasn't been a decision made on granting extensions. Um, my thinking is that maybe there will be, especially... Is that the county road line? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. The county road line, we already did get an extension. Okay. Um, uh, so, um, really, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the other is for fiscal year 25, so we have until, you know, we have quite a bit of time. That's, oh. um, Beyond into the next mm -hmm. summer work season, so um, so one of them is on East Hill, the Better Roads grant, which um, needs to be repaired now anyway. So we could use that grant money for those sections of road. Can't use it for the whole thing, but mm -hmm. for the sections of road that we designated um, for repair work, ditching and stuff, um, I suppose we could use that money for that. Um, and we just got to be careful if up, up and if we can't, mm -hmm. you know, that section of road that with the Better Roads grant that can't be on the FEMA right. mitigation thing mm -hmm. either, or somebody's going to. No double dipping, huh? Don't maybe FEMA would right. never know. <laughs> just think that grant is. I will go to jail. Will all the yes. you know, work. Yeah, yeah. So so there, was, was, there was another woman who emailed us, I think. Who was right at the? It's like, I'm thinking two streams that come down from East Hill. One of them is right next to the what we formerly knew as the White Rock, and then you go south uh, just before you get to the farm. There, there's another big stream that that dumped a whole lot of uh, oh, dirt and yes, Mary uh, the yellow camp there that. Right, that state. Oh, so you think they might help her or something? Or? Well, I don't know. Oh. I just know it's, yeah. off our, it's off our 
jurisdiction. That the water is coming under Route 14. Yeah. We don't. That's not our control. Oh, so should she contact somebody with the state to help? Yeah. Them? Yeah. Absolutely. Huh. I mean, they're limited to what they can do, also. But that yeah. certainly would be that would be state water if it's coming if it's coming mm -hmm. in a culvert under Route 14. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to do with us. Oh. Okay. Do you have any idea or a name that I can give her? Um. Uh, Chris. Chris. Sears, the Chris district Sears. six. Chris Sears, the district six. Chris what? Sear. I I can send you that contact information. Okay. Thank you. So Alfie, realistically, between now and our next select board meeting, how many culverts could you replace? Um, well, I have another question for you. All right. I can answer that one. <laughs> uh, are we, do we want to rent another machine? Do you want to rent another machine? I want to rent another machine, yes. <laughs> and you need it for? For these culverts. And she's sitting quietly there. I, yes. <laughs> Well, that too. I mean, yes, I, I have a list. I, I have a lot of fit work to do. That you, that you need that big loader the for. Yeah. Yes. The, the little one that we have, it just, it's not going to touch that mm -hmm. bridge. It's mm -hmm. not going to, you know, it's going to take twice as long for these four, three or four mm -hmm. foot culverts. Mm -hmm. It's definitely, it's covered. Well, it might, it would be covered if we get a declaration. Yeah. Um, but it's going to well, be get that, a lot more work done with, yeah. with that bigger. Wouldn't that? Wouldn't her bridge be also covered under the current? No, no. I mean. I asked that question. Oh. Yes, I don't. No. Even though the permanent repair will be. That's a different That's disaster. The first one. That's the That's so, the initial. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Different scenario. All right. Okay. I mean, thank you. Well, a little bit. Can that be explained just a little bit? The first disaster will be covered. The second disaster with the bridge gone is not going to be covered. Well, that the second one we're waiting on the declaration. Right. Because maybe the second flood may not none of it be covered. Yeah. Okay. If we All don't right. get a declaration, we, we okay. can only call it. what happened last year. Alfie went out and did the work, and then we formulated damage inventories, had projects assigned to them. And then we were able to apply for FEMA funding. So Alfie went out and did the work right away. Mm -hmm. So what, to me, whatever has to be done, Alfie should prioritize mm -hmm. and then move forward. But I have a question for Alfie about if, whether or not VTrans or AOT have updated the best practices of culvert sizing. Mm -hmm. You know, going from like an 18 inch to a 30 inch, are there best practices for that one? In light of what happened last year and mm -hmm. two weeks ago? Right. I have not heard uh, of any upgrades to that. It, I'm sure it's coming. Yeah. But I haven't heard of it yet. Because for, right. uh, for mitigation projects, uh, we could write the mitigation plan, okay, utilizing like the Orange Book, mm -hmm. for instance, as our local guidance. Or yeah. they, FEMA, will write it. It's more expedient if we write it than wait for someone in FEMA to write it. Yes. Yes. But the Orange Book might not be up to date. Well, that's what I'm hoping because of all this, these issues and culverts mm -hmm. being undersized because just of the volume of rain that we're mm -hmm. experiencing now mm -hmm. that. They would update the orange book and get rid of 18-inch culverts and, and the standard, the standard start at 24 right. and go up. Right. Because FEMA's going to want to know that when we start with the new education. I, I, I would be surprised if it's not being worked on right now, but uh, I have not heard anything about, about that. So in the event, let's say, yes, you ran into the bigger machine, how many culverts, how much repair work before our next select board meeting when we might know whether we have a declaration or not. And then we can make a decision about whether we're interested in laying out another 60 grand for new culvert updates. Right. Um, Just real it. And yeah, I mean. You're not going to be able to do all 12 in the next three weeks, right? Probably not. Yeah, okay. Probably not. Probably half of them, though. Six of them? 
No. Mm -hmm. If if we don't get another event, <laughs> yeah. I mean, which is certainly possible. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they're talking some heavy rain this this week toward the end mm -hmm. of this week. I guess I'm inclined, and I don't want to speak for the board, for the entire board, but I'm inclined to say, upsize those culverts, get a bigger machine. It's going to save us money in the long run, um, and then we hope that we get a declaration in the meantime. Yeah, and I'm, I'm keeping track of all of the expenses. Yeah. For each site, gravel, Good. pipes, mm -hmm. man time, machine mm -hmm. time, all that, same as that, because we're going to need it for FEMA if they do come to town. Pictures? I have pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pictures. Um, Danielle was very helpful. She, mm -hmm. that first that first morning, uh, went around and got a bunch of pictures. Mm -hmm. Lizzie got a lot of pictures, very helpful. Which I haven't done anything with yet. That's okay. But I will. So they're still in they're the on phone. my phone. They're still there. They're uh -huh. still re ready for us. Yeah. Um, hmm. I have a question. Okay. Uh, not upsizing a culvert that I have. It's replacing the foundation of the block. Am I on that list as a priority? Because I can't get across my bridge. I mean, I, I know you're yeah. busy. I know. Well, yes. I mean, that would, that's definitely uh, would have to be. Yeah, have to be one of the priorities, and that would be uh, a large reason why we need a bigger machine, because our little machine mm -hmm. just won't lift those bridges and those big blocks that are underneath it. Remind me, did that H and H study come through? We're done. No. No. Yes, for town highway twenty four and twenty three. We have the H and H for that. Okay. Yes. FEMA has that too. Okay, and that. Is it in the resource center at the moment, that project? Uh, no. No. It's not obligated, though. No, they are. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> on, on that note, we're still, we're still working, I'm still working with Nate to get a schedule mm -hmm. for the boring. <clears throat> okay. Did you hear? I mean, Carol's been asking whether her site is going to need boring. Do you? I didn't. I, uh, I never heard that it would, but she's asking. So, do you have any idea whether? I depends on what we put for a structure there. Oh. If it's a bridge, if we go with a bridge, then yes, they would want to do boring there as well, because they want to know where, how far down uh -huh. the bedrock is. Yeah. So he will not won't know what he's going to design for that. Without the boring, right? It's I mean, the what, same body what comes of water, first? So, the, I mean, the hydraulic studies are very similar yeah. between the two. So, I, I think it's going to be a bridge there as well. Yeah. But not a box color. It's it's a lot. It's up to Nate. On yeah, that. right. Yeah. You know, okay. He's the designer. I, yeah. Well, anyways, if you ask him whether he needs to do borings up there. Yeah. The Carol. Yeah, so that this is all forthcoming. It's, right. it's he said he couldn't get to us until fall. Oh, gee, now we're fall. Huh? Not, no, no, no. That's what it's original plan. Was. Okay. Thanks. Now we're negotiating. We're talking about it's only July, and he's right. he's kind of getting on board. So yeah. he might be a little bit faster than we originally thought. Oh. So we just have to have patience and let mm -hmm. this process happen. Yeah. But. I, to answer your question, yes, your bridge is, is pretty high on the priority list as soon as I get that machine here. Are you waiting for a uh, will to get the bigger excavator? Yes. And if so, I'd like to make a motion that we give him whatever approval he needs to get the bigger excavator for another month. I have a question first. Um, sure. How readily available are the culverts? Like, if you rent the excavator, is it possible that you're gonna have your hands tied up waiting on culverts, or can you get those right off? I've been pretty pretty lucky with that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of different suppliers that I can use, and so yes, I've not it's not seen a problem with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there's still a motion on the table to. Want to decide? Any more questions? Sorry. Um, we have a budget for that, or I think it matters. <laughs> Rental of a bigger excavator to accomplish some of these road projects in a quicker fashion. Any more discussions? 
Is this motion just for the excavator or is it for replacing the culverts? Well, I, think, I don't think we need a motion for the yeah. replacing of the culverts, but we, we should probably the, agree. The motion to let him yeah. do his job. Yeah. But this is just for the excavator. Okay. Any okay. more discussion? Mm -hmm. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Passes unanimously. We're trying to okay. get more help to finish projects. What? The rest of the projects. Yeah. I, I want to circle back though, because we're not done with this one part, <laughs> which is um, I think Liz, there's a question whether we're asking Alfie to like go ahead and replace these. Um, in my opinion, I think he should go for it. And I'm not sure about Diana, but um, you wanted to. Talk about I guess, that a little bit more. Like I do have reservations, obviously, because of the cost. Um, so I guess I would feel better about going forward with the ones that are more in need of replacement, even though I know they all are, but like the ones where it's actually like holding up people's ability to drive or causing a danger. And then maybe before going ahead with all the others, like just kind of seeing a list so we have a sense of what, like what Chris was asking for, just to have a sense yeah. of like what the cost is going to be. Like, I don't want to just... Yeah, no, I can certainly get, get you a list. That will not be hard to find a list of okay. culverts that are under undersized. Um, but if I'm... You're approving an excavator, so that's going to come... I'm going to call tomorrow morning. That's yeah. going to be on its way. Yeah. Um, so I will, <laughs> I will get... I will get a list of, of the culverts. Probably not all of them, because uh -huh. there's... There's probably 500 culverts in town, Ooh. but the ones that I'm seeing are, are chronic problems. Okay. I will make you a list of. Okay. And Is that going to hold you up with the use of the excavator? Like if you're, you know, waiting you on approval yes, on a list? Yes, if you give me approval uh -huh. on at least some of them, then yeah. yes, that's going to hold me up. Okay. Because Carroll's Bridge is a couple of days probably, uh -huh. and then I'm, I'm ready to go on to these other culverts. Okay. So how about if I did you approve four culverts? I don't think I don't I know. There's, I know yeah. there's more than that out there, but uh -huh. four mm -hmm. will get the, the real chronic ones and the one that's on East Hill. Some of the ones that there still needs repair to the side of the road. I'm not repairing them until I fix the culvert. You follow and, me? Yes. So one is on the county road, yeah. near Piper Drive. There's a big a, wash out beside the road. I don't want to fix that until the culvert is mm -hmm. is replaced. Or, mm -hmm. So that's one. The East Hill one, that water's running on both sides. That's two. Um, there's there's actually two on the county road that are that are the same similar problem. Are we str hand, hamstringing you though if we're only approving four right. and you've got this machine and you can go for it? I mean, I'm kind of in the I don't want to do that too. That you right. just kind of go for yeah. it. But I, I don't like I the don't idea of, of telling him how to do his job either. So. Well, he asked us, Diana. <laughs> well, that's our it, is, it is. And it's a, it is, in all fairness, it is a, a logical question to, to say we're going well, up we're going to a much bigger some culvert some of it is going to be out of our budget yeah so that's why i'm asking yeah you. Mm -hmm. and that's a fair so you guys are aware of of the fact that i'm going to be outside of my budget right. i think that's a fair thing to bring to the stuff so, so it would be helpful if you know in addition to this 50 <coughs> i mean we are going to be setting the tax rate soon <coughs> and um Yes, the voters did approve a budget, but that was a budget based on our estimates at the time, and we might have to add more money to uh, what the voters have approved, and that's our job and our responsibility. So maybe if you could give us a, some kind of a ballpark about a bunch of culverts. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the last... The last 14 months, mm -hmm. there's lots of change. Lots has changed, mm -hmm. and it's going to continue to change. So I think we need to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Whether it's raise the taxes or find other funding or however, mm -hmm. the water is not going to stop coming out of the mm -hmm. It's just not. It would be my recommendation um, to make good use of that excavator while we have it, and if 
four culverts is all you get before we get that list to look, then that's fine if that's all you're able to do. But if it's just going to sit there and you have the opportunity to do the other work, I would suggest doing the other work. Yeah. But. No, I agree. I would say, like, I would still like to see the list before, you know, we just say go to town, do all the culverts. But, like, if you're held up waiting and we haven't given you an answer yet or we haven't seen the list and you finish what you have and need to keep going, I would just use your best judgment. Um, I don't know. Does that make sense to you guys? That's, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Diana? Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I wasn't listening to that. Essentially, we're telling Alfie to use his best judgment. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because in all probability, several of these are going to be covered by FEMA, right? Some of them, like the East Hill, is not. Maybe it's just a chronic thing, but if some of them are uh, well, flood related. If we get a declaration that Bonnie still yeah. definitely yeah. covered. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I have a couple more questions before we. Yeah. Um, so I got a call from CD Fiber. Wants to know if they can schedule a time to come hook up fiber to the town garage. I dismissed it. All right. Do we think about it? Do we have? That would be Skipper Hassani. He's in the he's in the midstream of. Uh, he's trying to negotiate with CB Fiber to get a better price because they were they were going to charge. The commercial price, which is like a couple hundred dollars, instead of the residential price, which is more like a hundred dollars. So Skip is trying to negotiate. To I thought they had agreed to that. I remember somebody mentioning that. It, it would have been former Skip board meeting. Well, it would have been, yeah. I guess so now we're comparing what we pay Consolidated, what we pay Comcast, and, and seeing how it's going to do with the CD fiber. Yeah, so we haven't agreed to hook hook up anything yet, they've right? Already, they've already mounted a box on the side of the building. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't send a bill yet. We need to schedule a time to hook up. Uh, so really? So I will send That's Skip. Nervy. I'll have Skip Marcus on the call you. Okay. Yeah. And then great. Make, just, I mean, I'm all I'm for it. I'm just wondering, <laughs> should I let these guys hook up or not? Is this yeah. been approved? Because I didn't remember anything out of the select board. Right now we're paying the what? what? Where do they get their internet? Comcast or consolidated? Consolidated. Yeah. And it's yeah for this the garage. It's expensive. Two hundred and forty-nine dollars. Whoa! Whoa! For just two hundred and fifty dollars a month, too much for consolidated. Oh, really? Uh, so John Reed is the town CD fiber person. Yeah, I know. I told Skip he should be talking with him. Well, Skip's the one that deals with all our. Our okay. stuff for the town building, sure. not for the rest of the town, but so. sure. uh, yeah, I suggested that he contact John Reed and have him talk with the board about. Well, John, John I mean, Skip could contact uh, John mm -hmm. and have mm -hmm. him do the negotiating as a mm -hmm. board member mm -hmm. for uh, mm -hmm. a resident crisis. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But I got an email from ho at home from CB Fiber. They said they weren't going to be installing anything until at least September because September. of this last flooding. I just got called oh. for the same. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They were at my house last week and today. Really? <laughs> yeah, and I don't think they have. They are giving me conflicting information, so I'm not sure that everybody in their group is on board with what each other is doing. Uh -huh. um, but they, uh, yeah, I think they have like one little thing to do left and then. That's, we have it. that's the same with my home. Everything yeah. is hooked up. The wires are into the house, but the actual really? thing mm -hmm. um, will have to wait till September. Oh. And we did switch to C fiber for telephone. We, you know, consolidated our telephone bill was hundred dollars a month, mm. and now it's going to be less than thirty. Oh, so they wow. do? I didn't realize they were doing phone too. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Mm. Okay. So. Uh, so Brandy, thank you. You're gonna have Skip call yeah. Alfie. Okay. That's so great. that would be both for phone and internet. internet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One more, right? Uh, yes. Uh, two more. <laughs> Keep this thing rolling. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, so I'll do the easy one first. Huh? I'm getting calls from uh, Class Four Logit Road off Cabot. Logit Road. 
Blodgett is a shoot, it's just a short stretch of Woodbury in class four. It's near Cabot Town Line on East Hill Road. East Hill. Oh yeah, yeah. I know oh. where it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, and and oh. only part of that's in Woodbury? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. The other side is not good. The other side <laughs> is not good. So these people uh, the landowner called me. He's renting his land to somebody that has cows on his on the property pastured in there he needs to move the cows out now the road is not in good shape he's asking if we can provide a few loads of gravel but to fix the road how many a few loads. a few I, loads it's unclear to me exactly where the town line is yeah so i'm just gonna i was thinking of just doing the hill going where it leaves the cabot road mm. I mean, I'm thinking three loads, and they get, they're going to have somebody else work it in, spread it in. It's our responsibility anyways, right? Mm -hmm. Class fours make them passable? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not it's culverts? culverts and bridges. Oh, okay. Yeah, but concern. I think we should still keep them passable. I think this person, uh, Shores, James, Jim, Jim Shores, I think is his name. He said he owns 100 acres there, and... Hmm. Um, I'm guessing he probably pays good tax money. So he needs okay. to uh, get the cows across? Is that yes. right? So there's cows up that road that they put there before all the flood. Oh. And now a truck to come in and haul the cows. They away. want to truck the cows out, so they need to get oh. a truck up in the road. Um, and he's going to do the work. You're just going to, he just wants the gravel provided? Yeah, or? he said he would, he would hire somebody to level it. To great <coughs> Sounds mm -hmm. like a good deal, it really. Is. I mean, they're yeah. doing a lot of the work. We're just providing you know, yeah. the loads of ground. Yeah. yeah. But again, I'm just wanting your guys, mm -hmm. you guys, to know, and I want your blessing on it because I don't want to do something that's going to create problems. At the me. last meeting, you asked for similar <laughs> approval, yeah. and those have been done. Satisfied those yes. people that yeah. As far as I know, there was a call that came in right Thursday. Thursday, so that's. But you said you had already taken I it already up there. Did that, I, but I don't know if they're asking for more or if or if they just didn't know that we had did right. brought the gravel. So that's, but still. It's, <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. Next question is: I discovered another bridge that has been violated by the flood. Uh -uh. It is. I don't even know the name of the road or if it even has one, but it's it's off of Route 14, right near Hardwick Town Line. Oh, it's that uh, oh, bridge. That oh. is our bridge. We had it's to repair a one it. house bridge. Yep. The what? It's a it's, it just serves one yeah. one road. Yeah, Corkscrew uh, Road is called. Road. Although it's oh, not on our road road. list for some it's reason, but it has a. It is on the it, map. As it a is on the map. Yeah. Road. yeah. yeah. And we replaced the bridge before. Yep. The guys yeah, from Harry Morrisville. Built it before, I think. Mm -hmm. I think Harry Daly built it before the last no. time. Harry Daly was the road foreman, and I don't know whether it was tired out or if he and the road crew did the work. I heard it was gravel. No, I, th I think when you're going into Morrisville, just before you start going down, Take that it's, uh, it's a big. Uh, Construction that's, company that's there. I can't long. remember their name. Oh, blow and coat. Blow yes. Coat. Yes. That rings the bell in my. Yeah, I think they did that last <laughs> one. Yeah. So is the bridge totally out? Is it impassable right now? It's not impassable. Uh -huh. She's getting in and out, but she's very nervous about it. Some should, should she got be? moved underneath, right? She so should be. Yes. Yeah. She I should got to crawl down underneath, and there's a huge concrete base that the bridge actually sets on. But everything below it has been violated. Huh. Because water is, you know, mm. such force under it. It's like undermine the concrete, you mean? Undermine the concrete. Uh -oh. Okay. And it's and it's settled. So now the bridge is kind of oh. wonky. Do you mm. have thoughts on a way to make it safe? Um. Yes. <laughs> and what, what? I'm sorry. What did you ask? I asked if you had thoughts on a way to make it safe. A way to make it safe. Okay. Yeah. Um. Again, it's a pretty substantial undertaking. It's taken the bridge off 
off from its location and resetting, moving that big hunk of granite mm. and concrete mm -hmm. and then resetting the blocks underneath. Mm -hmm. mm. And if this so. becomes declared a disaster, that would need studies for FEMA to pay for it, correct? Like you couldn't yes. just go do it yourself. That's correct. If, if this, if we get declared a declaration, then yes, we that can be under FEMA, uh -huh. which would definitely call for engineering. Yeah. Because FEMA is not going to give money for for Alfie to go off there and throw it together. Why not? <laughs> yeah. But the damage was done in the most recent storm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. done a lot yeah. more damage this year than they did last. Really? Yeah. yeah. So do you think, can it wait a while or is it unsafe like right now and needs attention immediately? Um, I think it should be pretty high on the list. Before because, winter? Before winter because, mm -hmm. if, right, if we wait until the ground starts freezing and we're, we're getting snow, mm -hmm. we're not going to be able to do it. Is she parking on this side of the bridge and walking over, or is she driving She's over there? She's actually driving, driving over. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Skip. Could a fire truck go over that safely? Uh, no engineer. I wouldn't recommend it. I mm -hmm. would. So it's, see, it's a matter of public safety then to have it. Yeah. Along with mm -hmm. Carol's bridge as well. Yeah. Would you be thinking like a temporary fix for now, and then because of FEMA? comes through then it has to be engineered and all that stuff is that what you're thinking or would you be thinking a permanent fix yeah i don't know uh, yeah i mean it, it really should have a permanent fix uh-huh and in your Unless in your timeline when, when would you want to get to that well a permanent fix you're going to want me before because that's going to be expensive yeah a temporary fix i could probably fit it in before, before what would you do go, go down underneath and no, yeah, I gotta lift the bridge off. No, oh. take the bridge even for a temporary so, fix. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because there's no way to yeah. top stuff underneath. Yeah, it seems know. like it would be. I think you should do it. Wait, I, I think you should yeah. do it. Yeah. I mean, it's, okay. our, it's our bridge. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's our if it's not so, safe, then right. yeah. Okay, not that I'm at, trying to add more to my agenda. <laughs> yeah. but I also want people to be safe and. Yeah. I want to do it before, yeah. before the weather changes on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe prioritize those things that are safety things. Uh, and if the yeah, Kaki, go ahead. No, I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, thank you. I, I think I'm finished. Okay. Is it, oh, a road question? It is a road question. Okay. Well, he doesn't have Only to be done Only because then. I'm not sure where to ask the question, mm -hmm. which is why I came. So Bailey Bridge Road goes into a class four road, mm -hmm. which we have a lot of property on mm -hmm. that road. It's, it's beginning to get to be like a uh, road. And so I know you don't take care of that, but I, I don't know whether that should be in some kind of file. <laughs> like this road is going away, are we, who own property on that road just have to take care of it. Is there wow. something wrong? Is it washed out? Or? Yeah, it's washed out. A I mean, you can kind of get over it with your truck. You couldn't easily get, I mean, I'm using the motor to get down. And there are other landowners beyond That's there, right? right? That the Sprigs have a camp at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. as do, I forget their other name, the other name. There are, two, there are three, four landowners. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So this isn't Bailey. Bridge Road. This is the I end of Bailey Bridge. Up over Turn, past Peter yeah, and Phoebe's. Down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was. So I'm just here to say, do you need it? Mm -hmm. What do I do if I wanted to find out if there's anything that happened before? I'm sorry, that's or not. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't need an answer. Mm -hmm. um, is it, it's not a class four, is it? I think it is because a yeah, few years ago. Oh yeah, it is. They it is. they upgraded the front part to a class three. Before that, I don't think we were even plowing beyond your old driveway. And we would more houses it went in there. Just a matter of yards. Too. Yeah. It wasn't much. Yeah, but anyway, it was. Uh, anyway, now it's a class three up to wherever you plow, oh, and beyond yeah. there, it's still class four.
Yeah. yeah. We should probably provide a little trial. Mm -hmm. Take well, a look. at some point, just if I take some pictures and somebody can file no, the pictures I'll, I'll or come, look at it or I'll something. Come look. Yeah. I'll okay. come look at it. I Sometime no you, you got a lot on your phone. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea that that was class four. Then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now I do. Okay. So I'll have a look. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, Just uh, in general, I remember a conversation when Chris was on the board, we had all kind of agreed at one point that we thought that class four roads that were passable should be kept in that condition, you know, so I think like in the spirit of that, it makes sense to... It's getting less and less passable. Right. That's mm -hmm. what's happening, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, whoa. I'll have to look at the map, because I, I don't know. Does that road run into like a stream or... Well, at the very bottom, you go left, you go to Dog Pond, and you go right, and you go to um, Greenwood. So that road has been there as long as you have, oh, right? Absolutely. Okay, so it's not like and a private road that was shape, built by the guy. The run we can, we can add. Yeah. I mean, everything when it's rain, now the rain is, yeah. is not up. really uh, mm -hmm. a lot. So it's, the road, it's like a... Not mm -hmm. really. But it was a <laughs> private road all that time, so I guess we'll have to, we'll have to look into I that. I don't know. I mean, it's not a private road. I'll have road. to look. But it's nobody that I know owns the road, right? I don't own the road. That's well, I, yeah, it doesn't matter who owns the road. That, that varies all over the place. Sometimes the deeds go to the center of the road, and sometimes they don't. But okay. whether or not it was ever taken up by the town or built by the town as a class four as a road, I don't know. I'll look into that. We, we need to know that. Right, mm -hmm. right. Before I, before I right. bring my into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Because okay. you, know, you can come fix my driveway if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm just saying, if it's, if yeah. you know, it's yeah. private drivers, yeah. Understood. if it's a class four, then, then we can. Yeah. And we should. Thank you, Alfie. Thank you. And Alfie, thank you for your work. I know that you guys are out straight. Yeah. 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 Everybody in town should hear you go over this because <laughs> it, it's a hell of a lot. It's incredible. So no vacation this summer, right? I wouldn't be so sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get one last year, so really, I don't know. <laughs> Well, yeah. yeah, hopefully we'll get caught up enough where we can teach us mm -hmm. some time. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. So Bye. we are not oh, going to no. be out of here by 8, but oh. let's um, <laughs> let's see if we can uh, move things along. We've got to go back to Robbins, town clerk. No, I'm bored after this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. My report is up to date. Great. I have just one report left to do. And we are helping the Cemetery Commission put the names on their plot maps for the different cemeteries. Mm -hmm. And next week I have election training. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yep. Absentee ballots are starting to go out now. If anybody wants to have a ski ballot, just call and let us know. Or email. Oh. All right. Yeah. And do you need um? How do you get volunteers for that? When ballot it clerks, to, you mean? Or yeah. like, I imagine, yeah. However, it works. Yeah. yeah. They're they're elected where's or. The, where's the uh, primary going to take place? Town hall. Town hall. Yep. So she'll need to get some ballot clerks. Okay. It's going to be ten to seven. Yeah. It's August 13th. Mm -hmm. All right. And I've got a list of people in my file that I've used before, so I'll get hold of them. And I might be getting hold of you. Yeah, right. Also. Yeah. Happy, happy to do it. Might be on the list. Yeah. It's kind of fun. And important. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Exactly. That was my favorite part of being town clerk was elections. <laughs> and then it looks like you have some information about the vault. Oh, after... Oh, that's Robin, year. Well, okay. Robin brought this up at the last meeting, running out of space. Yeah. And 
I said I would look and see if there's some stuff. And there's this big, the big section of all these black books that are poll tax re records from forever, I guess. And I thought, what? Well, nobody ever looks at those. And so I contacted the state to see whether that was something that we could get rid of. And they said no. But they did say that they were willing to send somebody out to look at the vault and um, give advice as to what can be in there and what doesn't have to be. So I talked with Robin and she said maybe after the election we could have yeah, them come out. Great. Give them a call and see what they can set up for me. That's good news. Yeah. Anything else, Robin? No, I don't think so. All right. Move right on to the recovery officer's report. Thank you. Good news. But how we got there was more interesting. <laughs> so uh, we had a weekly meeting conference called Zoom with FEMA. And this last meeting, which was uh, on the 17th, a uh, representative from the state was there. And this is the second meeting I think he's been in since last September. Oh. So we went through the meeting and we went through every project that we have. So we have 14 projects. Mm -hmm. And I sent out a brief synopsis of what went on in that meeting. And the main question is, why have our projects been obligated? And you know, at Bowsing, we've been telling you everything is there. So we found out why they haven't been obligated. So as I wrote in my email on the 17th, FEMA response was discouraging. Our FEMA program delivery manager indicated that he was directed to focus his attention on high value projects. So projects that exceeded, say, like $50,000. And don't even look at the whole low hanging fruit, which Woodbury's projects are. And they describe low hanging fruit as those that don't have a real high dollar value, yet are all works completed, fully documented, and ready to go. Don't look at those, look at high value projects. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, so uh, suffice it to say that that didn't go over well with us, Danielle and I. And this guy, Andrew Fly, just went right after the speaker guy. Uh -huh. He said, the exchange prompted Andrew to forcefully direct, and forcefully is a nice word, to direct FEMA to obligate all of Woodbury's completed projects without any further delay. The FEMA program delivery manager said he would, he would talk to a supervisor. <laughs> so, and I guess they do whatever their supervisors tell them. So he was told by his supervisor not to look at Woodbury's projects. What? I'm sorry. The pet not to look at Woodbury's projects because they were not high value projects. The story's not over yet, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but All right. it goes on. So he, Andrew writes back. A couple of days later, he says, I skip. Just so you know, I forwarded your email and my question about the lack of obligation process for Woodbury to Kim Kamarecki. She's like the head of, of, of emergency management, mm -hmm. at least this portion of it. Mm -hmm. And she forwarded it up the chain internally into FEMA. And then there was another question about uh, passive mitigation for a couple of projects, which was really unrelated. And he said, otherwise, please expect that FEMA will move to get the others obligated. So they will continue to be further discussions at the manage highest management level with respect to the low-hanging fruit issue. Mm. So thank you very much. Mm. So with that, I get an email on Saturday, or I sent an email on Saturday, and it says, in essence, seems as though our email to the state regarding what various issues with FEMA has received immediate attention. So I was sent a couple of forms to sign. Mm -hmm. One was uh, a state form. It's entitled July 2023 DR4720 Municipal Funding Form, which asks for Woodbury's points of contact for this project 
and the manner in which we want the reimbursements to be made. And one of the one of the questions was the same as the COVID money. Yep. So I said electronic. Yep, electronic transfer. Mm -hmm. And another form of section I said, oh, which I signed, it's called this is a FEMA form. It's called uh, damage descriptions and dimension slash scope slash cost <laughs> on the grants portal in FEMA. So I signed that too. And that was for this project, which is in your little flowchart here, uh, Project 7401693, which is Town Highway Bridge for $8,339. Mm -hmm. So we've applied for funding through the state. That channel has been set up to have funds funneled into branding. And as you can see right here, we're obligate funds to recipient. That's next. And we can expect that to happen this week. That's great. What, eight, the 8,339? No. To start. To start. Oh. To start. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> anyhow, um, yeah. So I'm really excited about that. Mm. And uh, when it starts happening, Danielle and I and whoever can join us for average. Because <laughs> it's only going to happen again. You know, and so at least we're here. You know, that's really. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, I hope they don't and think thank that's you. going to shut you up. Oh, it's not. <laughs> no. So, Randy, you and I are going to have to sit and meet just briefly about yeah. this form I signed. Yep. Mm. Because uh, I didn't put you down as a contact, a second, secondary contact. I put uh, Danielle with Lara. But I can change that. Okay. Okay. No, I can change good. it. Mm -hmm. So, Anyhow, it's, it says, is a, is a disclaimer, our local government has to agree to the following local impact grant conditions. Mm -hmm. This is all part of the form. Funds are not to be spent on projects which are eligible for public assistance program. If you have questions, please contact the public assistance coordinator. What the, I found that very confusing. Yes, yeah, I know. <laughs> you must read that. I know that. You must retain records of expenditures until the records retention period associated with the floods, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. And that's three years. Okay. So, yeah, we're, we're all set. But why, but why are they asking you to say you're not going to spend the money on the stuff that is already obligated? That's weird. Well, they, so you're getting like $300,000 back. Yeah. They don't want you to spend that money on other public assistance projects within this DR 4720 because all those that work effort has expired. Mm. Okay, you can't really do anything more you, just because of the time frame. Except for projects that you've had extensions right. on. Correct. Wow, that's so they think we're going to... Okay. <laughs> Which is a negative anyway. Yeah. I mean, there's 247000 That's not even payroll. Oh. Um, so all the money that we get from them is going strictly right into that fund. It's not like the first two hundred and forty-seven thousand dollars. Correct. So we we're really only going to have like another hundred thousand or so. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's money though. Oh yeah, it's still yeah, it buys a few more culverts. <laughs> so we have another uh, Zoom conference on Wednesday, and we're going to go through every project again. Mm -hmm. And get an update. Mm -hmm. Just see where they are. Is he? Is Andrew Flagg going to be on that uh, phone call he's as well? Been invited. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he's there again. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe his yeah. boss will be there. Yeah. You know, so. yeah. Ben. <laughs> no, Ken kind of recky. Ben Rose. Ken Didn't she give me? Yeah. I don't know what their mm -hmm. reporting structure is like. Uh, so we have. Uh, I told them that we have no mitigation plans for Cabot Road and the rail trail, which we don't. If we're going to mitigate Cabot Road, we'll do it in the next project just so we can get the money for Cabot oh. Road. Uh, these things are really weird. There are four projects that are pending environmental and historic preservation review. One's the Town Highway 24 Bridge for historic review. Mm -hmm. East Hill Road, Old Quarry and Lake Hill Roads, and North and South Parks. 
for mm. historic review of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, projects pending initial project development, there are four. Little Road, Fosdale Road, etc. North Hattie, Bell Road, Nichols Pond Road, County Road, mm. and parts of Cabinet Road. Mm. And there's some follow-up projects that aren't complete, which are the Town Highways 23 and 24 grid mitiga mitigation mm -hmm. projects. And I'll write for extensions on those. And uh, the town office work is not complete. Mm -hmm. So once that is complete, we can move forward with that. Mm -hmm. Skip, yeah. could, you, could you send me that report? Which one, Michael? The one that you're reading off from, so that I can um, make have the minutes. Okay. Draft. Actually, draft I did that out of my head. But, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get away. Well, it's um. It's well, the um, the uh, agenda for next Wednesday. Okay. That gives us an synopsis of yeah. everything that's going on. Okay. And. I could copy you on a couple of these emails, which are pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you think that would help me with the draft minutes, sure. <laughs> I'll send it to you. Okay, thank you. What you wish. And that's it. And that, so it's starting. That's great. Great. Uh, in two weeks. Mm. Yeah, nice job. We'll have more. Yeah. But until Randy sees that, <laughs> well, thanks for the good news, Skip. Well, and for all the hard work. It's better than the news I've been giving everyone. <laughs> it is better. <laughs> it's a lot better. All right, we have a health officer report. I'm not sure what ACO stands for. Animal control officer. Got it. Yeah. Um, report of a situation. Yeah, I, did, I don't know how much time we want to waste on this. I just thought it would was kind of interesting. Um, just after the fourth weekend, Paul came into the town office, said a nine-year-old girl had been bit by a dog on Martha's Vineyard, and that dog was owned by somebody who lives in West Woodbury. And we had, it, she said it was our obligation, I, I mean, this was an epidemiologist from um, Massachusetts. It was our obligation to quarantine the dog for 10 days, or this girl was going to have to have all those painful rabies shots. So I made a plan with our new animal control officer to go up to West Woodbury and try to find out about this flood and up find out about the dog. And then there was a flood and we couldn't get up there because mm. Cape Brook Road was washed out. And then I found out that I had the wrong phone number for the epidemiologist. And then we found out that the owner of the dog had lost his or broken his phone two weeks before. So he wasn't returning any calls. And finally, on the 10th day, the animal control officer, Ed, and I were able to go up there finally. And it's the, the epidemiologist said that if we put eyes on the dog and the dog was okay, that would be okay. So we went up there, nobody was around at all. And so the next day I was still feeling bad about that. So I went up by myself and um, talked to Harry Daly. I said to find out exactly what building I should be going to. And he said, oh, I just saw him. He's up in his yard. So, so I went up, talked to the dog's owner. He said, I wasn't the only one looking for that information. His, somebody had sent his father up to take a video of the dog because the, the parents of the girl who got bit were in somehow um, in business with, related with whatever, this uh, person's mother. <laughs> so, so they were also looking for that information. And so um, the epidemiologist, Mia, did find out that that, uh, the parents had received that video, and when I told her that I had seen the dog, she was very happy not to be able, not to have to recommend that the kid get the shot. So, a lot of running around and phone calling for. It was a happy ending, anyways. Good. <laughs> thanks for doing. And thanks for, and I'm thankful that we have a new dog officer because he was very willing to help. It's great. Mm -hmm. Good decision. Some of the dogs still not registered. I know. I was. I was kicking myself that I didn't say that. 
Tell him to at least get the dog vaccinated, but I do. Yeah. He's not vaccinated, or he's not a. No, it's not va vaccinated. If he, if the dog was vaccinated, and if the owner had evidence of that, then there wouldn't have been a question. Okay. But it's not the kind of people who register their dogs. All right, moving on to updates and other business. Um, the town hall roof um, progress with scope of work and RFP. Um, as per usual, I did it at last minute this afternoon, and I emailed you, Diana, and you, Liz, and I also included Skip and um, Michael, and feel no obligation to look at it. I just know that you two have been mm -hmm. through this before with mm -hmm. RFPs, mm -hmm. and if you had the time and were willing, I feel no obligation to just <laughs> run over that, um, as well as board members. I'm having a whole lot of difficulty with the formatting, so I'm working my way through it. Mm -hmm. I'm about two-thirds through, but the formatting is screwy on that document. Um, that I'm mm -hmm. basically using the Woodbury School. Is it not letting you do things that you want to do? Well, it's probably yeah. like a yeah. three or four years difference in yeah. uh, word processing. Yeah. And yeah. Like I'm that. getting there, but it's so, when you get to those points. And you'll see there's a couple crazy things in there. Like I'm not really sure why we require um, roofers to have auto insurance, but that oh, under insurance yeah, there is a requirement that they have automobile insurance. Huh. Another thing I noticed, and I think I noticed in when I looked over that quickly, was it shouldn't. Why does there need to be a, a, a obligatory site visit, group site visit? Because that seems like a lot of time for somebody no, I, to take I'm, out of their. I'm doing it. And I think if we're going to get a bid to do that, somebody's got to come look at it. Oh, yeah, but they don't have to come at a certain time. They can come oh, yeah, on yeah. the evening yeah, or yeah. Okay. on a Saturday morning or something yeah, yeah. like that. It's, it's, it's all outdoors. So yeah. mm -hmm. That's a good yeah. point. So. I can change that. I know that was a problem on one of our other projects that nobody came, nobody bid because they didn't have time to take a half day mm -hmm. off to come look at a $10,000 project. Um, I'm going to jump down to, and we'll come back to the other items there, but uh, is there a motion to appoint Patty Garbeck to the Rail Trail Committee? I'll make that motion. Any Second discussion? That. Second. Mm -hmm. uh, no discussion? Mm -hmm. All those in favor of appointing Patty to the Rail Trail Committee, please say aye. 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 Can motion you passes unanimously. Thank you. So that's the last piece of the committee has been trying to put together. She'll represent the non-motorized users. And I'm flood mitigation projects. I'm not sure. Usually that's a whole Michael. Uh, yeah. But um, if you don't have anything to report, Michael, we can. I don't have anything to report. Nothing. Um, yeah. The people that are helping me with that are dealing with the flood. Mm. So, um, so that's the one that has a mid-August deadline? Yes. Um, yeah. I, Brian Boyd from CBRBC did say that he would get to that this week. So. And the other one is the Cabot Road that's one? The Cabot Road mm -hmm. thing that Skip will be talking to a few months on. Okay. Hey, I don't think we're going to have time for working on the tax rate tonight. No. But I think because we have three weeks before our next meeting, maybe we can meet. Maybe next Monday night have a special meeting to just. I think that would be smart. Talk about I don't know that we're ever getting like our, especially yeah. if we have public comment. Yeah. We're, we're never going to build yeah. time in unless we make a special I meeting. Think a special meeting makes sense for yeah. that. Yeah. And nothing else on the agenda. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> would make sense. So I think we're going to approve bills and payroll orders. We're going to table the budget tax work until this special meeting. Mm -hmm. And did you say Monday? Yeah, this is me. I, it does. I think I'm good, but Monday is good for me. Either either next Monday or the following oh, Monday. Monday. Brandy would have to come too. Like the following that. Monday might be a problem. You got. Me. You're better for Tuesday, right? Is that? Well, I'm already at work. Yeah. And I'm not. Yeah. Tuesday instead of Monday. Mm hmm. Um. Doing a Tuesday instead of a Monday. Thirtieth. Yeah, I'll be gone. I'm not going to be here for that that August two weeks from now. So it would have, for me, it would have to if I'm going to be here, it would have to be next week. Okay, I should be able to do that. So next Tuesday, next Monday would be the 29th. 
Would we Except want to do Tuesday so that Brandy, Brandy doesn't have to come in? Well, she can be, I mean, it's up to her if she wants to, if you don't have things that you need to do in the office. But I guess, next can we Tuesday? do it on the 30th? We're talking about next Tuesday? Uh, we were, but I think right now we're talking about Monday. I, I think I, oh shoot. I think that's the day I have to take a friend to Burlington. Okay. Monday is fine. But I'll be okay. back. Monday? Mm. Monday it is. What time? And at the office? Yeah, let's do it at the office. I should have one of those at six? calendars. <laughs> nah. I have calendars all over the you place don't want one when I need. Oh. Did you say six? I just made it some crazy time, but yeah. Oh, is that what we're saying? Are we saying six? I'm sorry. Six o'clock. Six o'clock on, on the Monday. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to warn it, but I don't expect any need for any cameras or anything. <laughs> so we are going to approve <laughs> bills and payroll orders, mm -hmm. and um, then we'll adjourn the meeting and record the time to adjourn. I got one thing. Please. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank Michael for putting what all of these abbreviations mean at the end of the yeah. video. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that's a really good, that's a good addition. Idea. Yeah. Everybody, thank you. Definitely Thanks takes that. Uh, yeah, thank you. I think you were, you mentioned at one time you didn't know if you had a phone book. I do have one. Okay. I said. Um, All right. I said I never think to use it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should though. It's in there. I, ca I called Diana one day to get a phone number. And she's like, "Well, let me look in the phone book." And I'm like, "Oh, right." They don't send you one. They don't send I have one, but I. It's like you forgot about it. I forgot they exist. Yeah. Yeah. No, I totally right? get that. <laughs> so I. Went out for a phone Told Tim this, and um, I was like, right, I'm cruising back down, down front. I'm like, I'm just gonna stop and see Tim and Liz. Uh -huh. you know, maybe they're working on the camp. It looks awesome. Oh, thank you. Hey, right. just finish the siding. It's it looks, been a nightmare. It looks really to good. Do it, but thank you. It looks really sharp. I forgot to read this here. Missouri Community Library Board of Trustees of Woodbury Select Board. Regretfully, I resigned from my position as trustee and chair of the library board. I have sent this to you in the email. Yeah, you did. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, I still don't know what happened with Steve. Yeah. So hopefully, we'll hear about it sometime. So, the reason I'm emphasizing so much about bringing either contractor in to help is because yeah I'm already getting audited on these grants and um, okay. yeah, yeah. so and as he's saying I'm still next meeting I'm still going to emphasize on yeah the well, everything's going to be stopped to a halt yeah. to, um, so my as you'll see the payroll Peter took 10 hours off I mean they have the right to. Yeah. Um, but nothing's going to get done. So, Michael, how did you feel about these grants? Are any well, of I'm going to keep asking for an extension. Uh, typically, the case that, you know, Woodbury is right back to where they were last year. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll just, you know, just have to let them go, I guess. But Michael, if I understand right, some of them could be used in places that we had recent. The East Hill Better Roads Grant. Uh, yes, might be able to do that. Yeah. What? What? Get FEMA money for it? You mean? No, no. Oh, no. Okay. Use, use the grant money to fix those sections of road that were that need to be fixed. Uh -huh. um, and then the other parts would be, you know, if we do get the designation, then FEMA, that would be another headache. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, I heard on the 
news today that right through October we're going to have hot, humid weather. Holy cow. Oh. I mean, not super complaining, but the humidity could go away. I was thinking it was yeah, it that we already had our anyway. summer because I went up to camp on Saturday and it was 60 degrees. <laughs> not even Holy sunny weather at all. <sighs> Put the tables down. Mm, okay. Does it matter because there's no floor? You know, no we don't floor? need to worry about that. Yeah, let's just leave them, see what happens. chairs, here. really. going to use it until... Right. Although, I don't know if the library needs it. Well, the library might have an event. They have some kind of event. I don't know if they're going to be doing it, though. Well, they'll still need the... Trust you. I trust you, sir. Let's <laughs> okay. that one. Okay. Oh, oh man. I'm sitting down with, with um, Skip about that 5300 to see if I can kick that over to a portion of it to FEMA. 5300? Yeah. The... That's only for... Oh, yeah. This chloride. Yeah. yeah. Um, because all the roads, after they grade them, they have to be chlorinated, so mm -hmm. that I want a portion of that. So the uh, for last. Yeah. Yep. So that, but that would that have to be obligated to each individual road, or? And we got that um, we got the check for the Sylvia <laughs> Jackson in here. Yep. Okay. Before you send that out. Well, I'll come down to the office goes. and see if you can. Yeah. I just yeah. would like to put that in the Sylvia uh, Jackson file. I almost, I knew he hated him, so I, I almost said how much I liked him today. But it made me really happy because Joe came here today. You know how Joe's kind of like a man's man. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, "Oh, I really like those raptor tails." Actually, he was like, "I really like those raptor tails." And uh, Tim heard him, so I was like, oh, "Good." <laughs> Any idea about uh, we can, in the middle? I think we can. As adjourn. far as the work on the film office. Oh, yeah, let's um, adjourn. So the bulkhead. Yeah. Oh, to bulkhead, I was going to give it sheetrock. Well, that too. Yeah, sheetrock first. I'm going to move that we adjourn. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I do have.